ready? Mm -hmm. This is Dorte, your host of OrganicNation.tv. I am here in Port Townsend, Washington with Dr. John Navazio, who is a plant breeder and geneticist for the Organic Seed Alliance. A lot of people think, you know, maybe if we grow something without pesticides, then it's definitely organic. Why do you need to start with an organic seed? Aren't most seeds organic? No, most seeds, most vegetable seeds that you buy or agricultural seeds you buy are not organically grown. Okay. Uh, we specifically work with organic farmers, training them to grow organic seed. And there's really two reasons, Dorte, that we want to have organic seeds uh, in the organic marketplace. Uh, the number one reason is very obvious that we want to support farmers who are growing organically. People don't realize that the seed crops are often more sprayed than the vegetables that they come from. But the second reason is almost more profound, and that is we have been working for a number of years on developing varieties of vegetables under organic farming conditions, like we see right here at Nash's today, to do well under all of the challenges that come with organics. So to me, this all looks like just a bunch of salad greens, just a bunch of spinach. Are these different types of plants? Yeah, well, or? this is all one population. Okay. So it has some common ancestry. So this is a savoyed spinach, the curly type. Really delicious. We did some taste testing the other day. This is definitely one of the best uh, spinach varieties available in the U.S. today. This crop is specifically here to not eat any of the spinach but allow these plants to start to flower and produce seed. So you can see this plant has already initiated flowering. There are little uh, female plants, female flowers in each of these leaf axles. Do those flowers get bigger? They don't get much oh, bigger than that. Okay. They're very huh. tiny and they're not showy flowers because this crop is wind pollinated. The seed industry is very centralized. Much of the seed is grown very specialized areas that are ideal for growing seed. Uh, the seed is babied. We, we often call the varieties that come out of this process prima donnas because they're given all of the water they want, all of the nutrition they want. They're, they're propped up with chemicals to make sure that they, their roots don't rot and their, the insects don't get them. And they've been given such an easy time of it they have not been selected for just good natural selection of the challenges of the environment that are here every day with us. It's not just that the seed will be organically certified that comes from these spinach plants, but we've made life a little tougher for these spinach plants. Uh, they don't get as much water as, as a normal crop would. They're a little tougher as far as drought resistance. Often the crops we work with can withstand more heat, more cold. These crops are developed for the organic systems. So the advantage for the farmer in growing his own seed is that he really knows the, the climate and the soil and he can really tailor it to his environment? Very nicely put, yes. He, he will indeed be adapting the genetics of that crop to those growing conditions. Okay, so as they are, a lot of conventional seeds would actually, it would be hard to grow them organically just because they're not as tough as the kinds that you guys are developing? Yeah, when truly you take a variety that's been developed under these conditions and put it head to head with something that's been developed under classic uh, conventional systems, these are almost always, if we've, we've done our work well, these are truly tougher and they do better on organic farms than the conventional seed. Oh, it does have a sweet aftertaste. This is a good one. This is a nice, sweet spinach. Eat your spinach! Oh. <laughs> That's really weird. Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe I'll...
eat your spinach. So the moral of this story is eat your spinach. It's good. <laughs> it's amazingly delicious. <laughs> amazingly delicious.